Christmas fans and viewers. It is the area, Lord. Today is December 23rd, 2012. And I'll stop that accent so I don't have to go the whole video trying to speak like fucking Santa Claus, but... <laughs> yes. Today is December 23rd. We are two days away from Christmas. Very exciting. One day away from Christmas Eve, and that's lovely. My preferences aren't on busy. Uh, let's change that right now. Um, yes, again, I am using my camera, but again, I find it easier to just sit here and just talk to you guys. I feel like not, you know, doing it with a mic is just kind of just over the top a little bit. And uh, it's it, it's not what I'm used to. I've been doing this style of gaming updates for almost two years now, so it's it's comfortable for me to point the camera at the TV and then just talk. Um, Alright, so, I'm not going to make this video very long, but I do have some ambitious Christmas plans that I want to share with you guys um, that I think a lot of people are going to enjoy. And this is going to be a very unique time because, uh, well, actually, you know, I'll talk about it when I get to it, but... Basically, the only stuff that really happened last week was that I completed my goal of beating Far Cry 3. As you know, I still had that game to beat, uh, because I had played the Dragonborn DLC first, and I didn't get to play much of Far Cry, so I still had that game lingering. Well, I beat it. Last week, I beat Far Cry 3, and I did the co-op mode on Friday, so I was able to do both things. I didn't do the multiplayer, but after hearing many recommendations from people and seeing other people's reactions to it, it doesn't seem like the multiplayer is really that good, and I'd pretty much just be torturing myself playing it. So, I think I'm going to leave the multiplayer out of the Far Cry 3 mix, unfortunately. But I still got to play the co-op campaign and also the main story, and I completed all the optional stuff. Uh, for the most part, there were some, like, side quest kind of stuff that I didn't get to do in Far Cry 3, but for the most part, I pretty much completed the game almost to 100%. There were some collectibles and stuff like that that I didn't find, for the, but for the most part, I beat the game almost 100%. So that was fun. It was a really fun game. And then, um, I think that was really it. I don't believe there was any other videos that I uploaded last week. Hold on, let me check. There's always something I miss. There's always something that I miss that gets swept under the rug. Um, let's see here. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, there was the uh, Nuketown Zombies video, that hour and a half fucking video I made with my friend P Dog. Uh, we were just, you know, we like Nuketown, the map Nuketown. Um, I downloaded it with the season pass, so I really liked it. So I decided to just tape us getting to round 26. Uh, we did pretty well for co op. Um, but um, yeah, it's an hour and a half video, and um, yeah, it looks like the views were okay for it. Again, I'm sure people are busy for the holiday season, so, you know, not everybody's flocking to my videos uh, in mass numbers, you know. So, uh, but that video is up if you're interested in some Call of Duty Black Ops zombie footage. An hour and a half of content. I know it's very, very long. I've never uploaded videos an hour and a half long, but I thought people would be interested in seeing some zombies. I actually really like the map Nuketown. It's very easy for me to play in. And to be quite honest, the other maps in the regular Call of Duty, you know, Black Ops Zombies, don't really have that kind of style. You know, each of the individual survival maps are kind of linear, and then Transit is very, very open. So, I like Nuketown because it's in between. It's not one and it's not the other. I like Nuketown Zombies, so um, that's why I've been taking some footage of it. And then other than that, there was just the co-op. I did the co-op of Far Cry 3, and uh, I did it with, uh, obviously, my friend Phil, because he had the game, and then two fans that we invited. Um, <laughs> that, those videos blew up with fucking hate and spewing bullshit from uh, just accusations and the, the same stuff that I'm used to. I don't really care, but it was just that usual nonsense that translates from uh, playing with uh, my friend Phil and... Um, doesn't matter. I'm not going to really let it get to me. It's the Christmas season, and i got to stay positive, because i got some really cool stuff coming on the channel, so I'm not going to let that shit bother me. Um, so, this week, very ambitious, and also next week. Um, this update's going to cover the next two weeks, but basically, I have some very ambitious plans for Christmas. Um, I did talk about this in that funny little December 21st video I made, because... Most people thought the world was going to end on, well, not most people, but some people thought the world was going to end on December 21st, 2012. So I made a funny video of myself standing in the rain announcing stuff for Christmas, and I thought making this video would be a little bit more formal than me screwing around in the fucking rain in my coat. So, <laughs> thus why I'm making this video. Um, uh, yes, so... 
Christmas plans. Um, basically what I'm going to do for Christmas is I'm going to do a couple things. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my next fan mail, my Christmas fan mail, uh, fan mail 11. I'm planning on filming this episode Thursday or Friday of this week. Uh, so, it's going to be on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, just like the Thanksgiving fan mail was. So, you ha if you have any questions for me, any questions at all, could be big or small, um, I don't really care. Uh, my name just popped up in the upper right-hand corner of my Xbox, the Area Lord. It's, the sa it's spelled the same way as my YouTube name, and it's spelled the same way on PlayStation. So, the name is spelled the same, same way on Xbox, PlayStation, and YouTube. So, send me any messages, any questions you want. Uh, could be Christmas related. I always love receiving questions that are for the holiday that I'm doing it for. So uh, feel free to send in those questions and then I'll probably answer them this week in the similar fashion that I usually do. I might actually um, do, use the Elgato game capture to answer the questions. It's a possibility. Um, I've, I had, you know, obviously all my past fan mails have been filmed with the camera, but the Thanksgiving one was filmed with the camera because I didn't own the Elgato at the time. Now that I own it, I might consider. I might consider doing a fan mail with my Elgato in the mic, but um, we'll have to see. Again, it would be almost like this. You know, my fan mail videos are like this style of video where I talk to my screen pretty much and talk to you guys as well, and um, I'd have to see if that would be something that would be viable. So, just keep that in mind that I'm looking for people to send me questions Thursday and Friday for fan mail 11. Um, also, this week is fan appreciation, the much weighted up fan appreciation for two games that I missed doing uh, back in November, uh, Halo 4 and Assassin's Creed 3. A lot of people had been asking, because I promised Black Ops 2, Assassin's Creed 3, and Halo 4, I promised all those games for Thanksgiving fan appreciation, and I only got to Black Ops 2. So I'm planning on doing the Halo 4 and Assassin's Creed 3 fan appreciation uh, this week. I'm actually thinking of doing it with my friend Darkside Phil because he's actually hosting some fan appreciation matches and I thought uh, we could join, we could do like a joint fan appreciation because mo I'll admit most of my fans probably are from his stuff. I have a good number of fans who aren't from his content but the ones who want to play most of them usually come from Phil's content. So I'm thinking of just doing like a joint thing. You know, We'll probably just invite the same fans and then whoever gets in gets in. And uh, I'll do, he's playing both those games, Halo 4 and Assassin's Creed 3, so I'll just, you know, we'll do that. Um, and yeah, it'll be, it, I honestly, I think it'll be really fun. The only thing about Assassin's Creed 3, though, is that you can only have four people in a lobby, so if it's me and Phil, then we're only going to be able to invite two fans. And, you know, it depends on the game mode. So Assassin's Creed isn't the most friendly game for inviting large number of people. Halo 4 definitely is. You can have up to 16 people in big team matches for that game. So, um, so yeah, that's good. Uh, but don't think I forgot about my PlayStation 3 fans, because I did receive a, a, a couple of messages from people uh, during the Thanksgiving fan appreciation saying that they were, you know, kind of... Uh, ticked that they didn't get to play with me because they only own a PlayStation. Well, I have heard your cries, and I think I have found a solution. I don't know if this is something people would be interested in, but I actually still have the Ratchet & Clank HD collection in my uh, house, and I still, I still own it. And as most people know, I did a playthrough of all three Ratchet & Clanks over the summer, and I didn't get rid of it. Now, Ratchet & Clank 3 actually has online multiplayer, okay? The Ratchet & Clank Up Your Arsenal, the third game in the collection, has multiplayer. It has a multiplayer mode where you can play with a good number of people on PlayStation. So I'm going to extend this offer. I don't know if anyone's going to take it. Uh, again, it's, it's your feedback that drives what I do. But here's the thing. I would be willing to do Ratchet & Clank Fan uh, yeah, Ratchet & Clank Fan Appreciation on PlayStation 3, uh, maybe uh, the 26th, maybe Wednesday, the day after Christmas. Um, that would probably be around 12, 12, you know, Eastern Standard Time, I'd say. So that gives people in Europe the chance to play with me, and it also gives people uh, on the west coast of the United States to play with me. Um, if you have a PlayStation 3 and you have the Ratchet & Clank HD collection, you can play with me. And we can finally do some PlayStation 3 fan appreciation. Now, I don't know how the hell I'm going to do it because basically how it works is you would send me a friend request and then I have to accept the friend request and then invite you. 
but that's the thing. It's just going to be very weird. I'm going to be accepting random friend requests and inviting people, so I'm not sure how it's going to work. I've never hosted a fan appreciation on the PlayStation 3 before, but I'm going to try. If it works, then it works. If it doesn't, then I, I can't do anything about it. The PlayStation 3 is not the most friendly system for online connectivity. It, it's, it's very obsolete. In my opinion, it's obsolete to the 360s online. That's why I play a majority of my online games on the 360, because the PlayStation 3 is just a fucking burden to do anything on. Uh, so, that is how I'm trying to please anyone, any fans that have a PlayStation 3. If you have the Ratchet & Clank HD Collection, the third game has multiplayer, some like defensive gameplay, and I'd be willing to play that with you guys, okay? <clears throat> I hope that satisfies some people at least. Um, so, uh, some other stuff that I'm planning to do for the channel. Uh, I'm going to be taking random footage. Random, just anything really. Um, I have some videos saved. Uh, and they're, they range from ev a whole bunch of games that I own that I've done footage of over the years, but I've never consolidated. So, for example, the other day I took like a funny Grand Theft Auto 4 video. Um, I took a video of NBA 2K11 with my friend Top Dog because he kept wanting me to play it, so we did a funny gameplay of that. So I have some, I already have some videos actually saved up, and I'm going to be uploading them at my own pace. Don't know when, I'm kind of going to be taking it day by day, you know, day by day I'm going to see, alright, what video can I upload here, what video can I upload there, you know, how am I going to go about this, you know, what should I do, what should I do. I'm kind of, I'm going to look at the attitude and what people think I should do for each day and then kind of upload the videos in that manner. Again, go ahead, you're, feel free to comment and tell me what what kind of footage, you know, when you want me to upload it kind of thing. You know, I, I fully understand people are probably going to be very, you know, overwhelmed with their own holiday plans. So, in terms of taking footage, I kind of want to space it out in terms of your schedules. So, that's something to keep in mind. So, I'll take random footage. Um, I also, I have a couple of games that are actually being sent to me as a Christmas gift by my friend uh, P-Dog in Ireland. And, um... He's sending me, well, I won't, I, I won't spoil it, but he's sending me some PC games, and I'm going to probably include those in the mashup of footage I'll take. So, um, look for that, you know, I'm not, I won't say what, what it is, but uh, we'll get to it when we get to it. And then I'll do some other games, like maybe some games that I played this year that I didn't get to do the Elgato stuff with. Like, for instance... Uh, maybe Assassin's Creed 3, maybe there's some side thing I could do, and maybe some multiplayer, I don't know. Uh, maybe Halo 3, because, you know, Halo 3, I was competitive with that game. I'd love to do some Christmas multiplayer and just try to get some really good kills and stuff and have that as some Christmas footage. Um, uh, what else could I do? Uh, Borderlands 2, I don't really know what I could do with that, because I'm kind of holding off on that game, because I talked to Phil yesterday... And uh, he and I want to do the DLCs for Borderlands 2, because as you know, two DLCs have already been released, and we haven't done them yet. Uh, we're really just waiting as to when we could do them. Um, he told me he's thinking of doing them maybe in early January. There's a possibility, because I believe the third DLC is coming out soon. So there's a possibility that we might Blitzkrieg, you know, do the first, second, and third DLC all at once, and then the fourth one will come out at whatever point when it does. So we're thinking of doing that. We're not certain if that'll be the case, but definitely something for the long term, okay? So, um, that's how I'm going to be tackling my footage. Uh, it's really going to be day by day. It's going to be me taking it day by day. Uh, I'd say Tuesday, you know, Christmas Day and maybe Christmas, um, you know, the day after, there might be some fan appreciation. i got to talk to Phil about what he wants to do in terms of the fan matches, and then there's the two big videos that I am working on at the moment. My Game of the Year reward video, and my Funniest Moments kind of montage video that I'm uploading. Okay, The Funniest Moments montage video is dependent upon what you guys think were the funniest moments on my channel. I uploaded a video, uh, uh, was it a week ago? It was a week or two ago, I forget. Um, I uploaded a video of um, asking, it was just a flat out video, what are my funniest moments of 2012? I literally asked it in the title of the video. And some fans posted a whole bunch of questions, oh, not questions, a whole bunch of suggestions on videos and parts of playthroughs that they thought were the funniest. Um, I would like to receive a bit more of those, so if you could 
go to that video and vote for those, or you could just comment on this video, it really doesn't matter at this point. Just let me know what you thought were the funniest moments on my channel. It could be any playthrough, any playthrough, anything I did at all. Anything, 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 everything and anything. Anything I did that you thought was really funny on my channel that I did, I would like you to cast your vote as to what was funny and why. Alright, I've done a whole bunch of playthroughs this year. I've gone on a whole bunch of trips. I went to PAX East earlier this year. Too many games. MAGFest. Um, what else? Near Comic Con. I've been to a whole bunch of conventions. And I've played the big blockbuster games. Mass Effect, Max Payne, Dishonored, Borderlands, Halo, Assassin's Creed, Black Ops. You name it. The list goes on and on. So, I've done a lot of content. There were a lot of hilarious fucking moments that were on my channel. And I've... I have to personally go through them and decide what order to put them in. And it's probably going to be one video. I don't, I don't feel comfortable doing multiple videos of the funniest moments. I'd rather it be one big video going in order, you know, number one, number two, number three. Most likely the clips are going to be kind of small. It'll be, you know, it'll be like a 30 second clip of the part of the playthrough that was really funny. And then I'll move on to the next one. And I'll briefly introduce it and explain you know, why I thought it was funny and stuff like that. So That's the direction I'm taking things in. Um, I'm excited for Christmas. It's a great time to spend time with my family. I don't know if anyone knows this, but I actually wasn't able to do this last year because um, I went to Florida on vacation last year. And I was gone for like a week. And I wasn't. I didn't do any content on the channel for a week because I was away. I was gonna. I thought about bringing my camera to take some vlog footage of Florida, but my my parents were like, "Oh, you know, what's the point? Might get lost, and you don't want to lose your camera, and you're going to Magfest, so what's the point?" So I said, "All right, whatever." So I did bring it, and thus I had no footage on my channel for like a week. And the only video I had, I believe, was that was the one year channel anniversary video where I kind of recapped things, which I might actually do on the 27th of December. I don't know if anyone knows, but the 27th of December is the two year channel anniversary of my uh, YouTube channel. I opened my YouTube channel on December 27th, 2010. So in a couple of days, we're actually going to hit the anniversary of when I opened my YouTube channel and actually started putting videos out. I believe I put out the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood walkthrough for the Desmond Miles skin on the 27th when I opened my channel. And from there, you know, that's where I started my stuff. And um, I might do something special. I might make like a recap video. I already, pr I already pretty much did that with that big, you know, Revelation 18th birthday video. I pretty much already did that on December 5th, you know, when I was talking about my life. I showed my face for the first time on my channel. And I did a whole bunch of, I talked about my life in depth, and people really, really responded positively to that video. I've never received such a positive reaction on a video before, so I have to say thank you to that. But I might do something a tad bit similar, but it's probably going to be more centralized to my channel on the 27th. And then I might upload some crazy gameplay thing. And uh, that will be that. So... I hope I didn't forget anything. Again, it's gonna it's just gonna be a whole bunch of random footage this week, okay? To celebrate Christmas, to celebrate my love of games, it's gonna be footage that I think is gonna be really funny. This the, the coming weekend, I'm probably gonna upload my Game of the Year award. And then to keep with tradition, I'm gonna upload the funniest moments montage on the 31st the 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 the, the, the 31st of December, because in 2011 I uploaded it on the 31st of December, so I'll do that for this year, the 31st, I will upload my Funniest Moments montage, where I'll probably do like a top 15, top 10 kind of thing, and it'll be one video, I'm not making 10 videos, I'm going to make one video, and I'm going to just count it down, go through the clips, briefly say why I think they're funny, and uh, close out the year, and basically bring in the new year of 2013, so, that's the plan. That's the direction I'm taking for the rest of the year for my channel, and I'm very excited for you guys to be along on this ride with me. We've had some great moments in 2012, and I'm very optimistic 2013 is going to be a hell of a year. Some of the biggest titles I can think of, uh, including Grand Theft Auto V, which I'm going fucking nuts about. I love Grand Theft Auto, and I'm thinking of doing a lot of unique Grand Theft Auto-based content, but I'm not going to spoil that, that kind of series I'm going to do once we get into 2013. But I'm definitely looking forward to 2013. It's looking like it's going to be a very bright year. Lots of cool stuff going on and lots of changes in my life too that are going to be happening. So I think it's going to be fun and I can't wait for you guys to be there and witness all of these changes for yourself. 
and see how great they're, they're really going to be. So, okay, that's it. Again, I encourage you to tell me what you thought were the funniest moments on my channel. Post them. You can either post them on this video or the video I uploaded before, whatever. I just need moments for people to tell me. I have a lot of moments, actually. I remember, I think there was one fan who kept posting a lot, a lot of moments. But I need a more diverse number of people giving me moments and stuff. Because I need your opinion. I really need your opinion on what you thought was funny. And then I'll probably add my, my consent on the matter as well. And then the Game of the Year Awards thing is really going to be interesting. Because, again, I played all the big games of 2012, excluding a couple of games here and there. And I think I'm in a very good position to crown a game Game of the Year. I, it's going to be a hard decision to make, considering some of the games I've played. But I think I can do it. And I'm gonna, again, I'm going to make it one video. I'm not doing a top 10 Game of the Year thing or anything like that. I'm going to do... Just, I'm going to do one video, my game of the year. I'm going to count down you know, the nominees. What games did I think deserve to be nominated for game of the year? Then I'm going to tell what the actual game that won is. So, All right, I'm reiterating myself. We're already in 21 minutes. So I close out this video with a thank you. Thank you for supporting me in the year 2012. And get ready for a whole bunch of Christmas footage. And uh, Merry Christmas to all of those who celebrate it. And uh, Happy Holidays to anyone else who doesn't. Thank you. See you later. Peace out.